Hello, my little tiddly winks, and welcome back to Planet Coaster! Yay! I'm super excited. I love this game. It's so much fun. And it's got such high ratings, and it it's easy to tell why. I mean, look at how cool this random stuff is. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's been a little while since I played this. It didn't, it, the holidays were crazy. Let, let's face it, everybody had crazy holidays, and it was fun, and there was this... It, it was nuts. Let's just go with that. So I haven't had as much time as I would like to play video games, and I've been pretty burnt out. I just, I don't have enough time and energy, and yeah. So anyway, I, I've finally gotten some playtime in here. I've gotten some new updates. Uh, there has been an update to the game. You can now um, do some really cool stuff. You can, where is it, filters, and then, uh, sh the themes, they have a whole festive theme, which is super cool. I should have played with this and done a video before. What? I know you're not in. Oh. There we go. Oh, come on. Well, this is, this is a great, I know there's festive things. Why is it? There they are. A little laggy with the recording stuff. Heats up some stuff. But yeah, there's a whole festive theme now, and there's a whole bunch of, like, Christmas-themed stuff. You can do snow, it's it's really cool, and if you... Don't look back there yet, shh, shh, didn't see that. But anyway, yeah, big update, lots of Christmas stuff, really cool. These lights are probably my favorite thing, because I absolutely love Christmas, and Christmas lights, and decorating, and there's cookies, which is always a good thing, because I love them. So yeah, there was this really cool update. They got some. It, it's mostly cosmetic. There's a few rides. I think they added like um, somewhere in here. I think there's like an ice skatey kind of thing, like winter themed ones. I don't know. You'll have to look for your, your, yourselves because I haven't really played with the rides yet at all, which is kind of crazy because I've just been doing this kind of stuff, this more cosmetic fun. But uh, but yeah, so. Uh, Let's, uh, so you guys saw this in the last video, and if you haven't seen this one, the first one, go go check out in my list, and there's a playlist of all the Planet Coaster. I mean, this, this would be number two, so, you know, number one came before, where I showcase this entrance kind of stuff, and, and a little bit of this downtown thing, because it's kind of cool. This stuff, which I like. A lot of theme parks have these kind of things, or this downtown Main Street kind of thing. But uh, I went ahead and added something new, and you can probably see it peeking up here in the background. I added this ginormous thing, which I'm super excited about. It's actually three buildings, so each one of these is a separate piece. And then these little things are each technically a building, too. And yeah, but this took a lot of time, and I really wanted to, because I thought the idea would look cool. I wanted to get these neat little pedestals, and you can see here, here's these Christmas lights I threw in. They're the variable ones, and I changed them to uh, white and black, which gives it kind of more of a, you know, a movie marquee chasing lights kind of things. I mean, you could do the multicolored ones, and those are cool. But for this, I wanted something a little bit more just simple. But anyway, yeah, this is a really cool building, and it took a crap load of time, like a lot. I mean, even doing stuff... Sometimes, like, these little fountains, they can even take a while. I mean, each of those pieces had to be put in there. So there's, like, what? The vase is on top of this thing, which is on top of this base. Each of the planters, all these plants. And then even the water effects. So there's, like, one jet stream thing and five little things you got to angle. It's crazy. It, it, it takes a lot of time. And even this. I mean, I really just took this and mirrored it for this. But a lot of the insides and stuff are different. The angles aren't perfect. I'm not going to lie. Like, these did not match up perfect. And some of the stuff that I hate, like these things, there was nothing I could do to make them look nice. So I just went with it and whatever. But yeah, I went with a nice clock tower in the middle just because it needed something, you know. And I did a lot of outside work, which was cool. You know, I... I you know, so far very classic things, the vines, I use a lot of those, because they look nice. And I started getting into this stuff a little bit more, like some topiaries, and I found adding rocks in with your flower gardens makes it, breaks it up a little bit, makes it look a little bit nicer. And then this, I thought was fun, I saw somebody else do 
a little rock garden border like this, which I thought was really cool. It, it added a whole new kind of texture to it. Gives a little something something. I mean, I could have gone right along the edge of the path, but I really didn't want to. I wanted some grass in there. I might throw some random, you know, scenery things in there later. But yeah, but for now, this is it, it's it's not done. OK, I'm not going to not going to lie to you there. It is not close to done. There needs to be a lot of detail work on the outside because like these pillars right here are just really bland. There's nothing to them. I, I need to add some cool structure and even on the, some of the sides, maybe it needs a little bit more. And even this, I don't know how much I like this thing. So I went and added this tower here, which from down here looks kind of okay with this little fountain in the front. It sounds so pretty. And I tried to make this like the town square, the big fancy building that you would want to go to. And I've, I've even added these, like these are fake doors, like, well, they're doors, but they don't open and close. But there is paths that go into this door. There is one that goes under here. Same thing on this one and the ones on the sides. So you can actually, people can walk into this building. And I, I like that idea. I, I didn't want just those facade buildings where it's just a fake building with nothing in it. I wanted to do something cooler. And you saw in some of these other buildings back here, woo, that I've done, you know, some inside parts and people can go into some of these. Like this one, there's a path that runs through and blah, blah, blah. But I wanted to do a little bit more in this one. So, I did quite a bit, actually. Um, let's go into, what is it, this button? Yeah, the free move. So you come into this room. It's a pretty big open space, but it's got all of the things you need. So it's every shop except for, I think, one. So you've got, like, the bathroom. You've got a information thing. You've got an ATM, first aid. And then I went ahead and put all the different shops I could. So there's like the milkshakes, the balloons, and all that. There's some other stuff on the other side. It's still lacking a lot of decoration. I have not done much in terms of that. What I plan to do is, in these spaces where people aren't walking because there is no path, building like little fake shop shelves, and then I'm gonna cover the whole bottom of the place with this so it looks like a one solid floor, not just, you know, pathways. But uh, just didn't have gotten to it. And I wanted to, you know, go ahead and make something and bring up a new video, because I haven't done many lately. But, I added stairs. Oh god. Come on, there we go. So up here, which I'm super excited about this, I found these glass roofs. They're like half a block wide. So it's kind of annoying, so you have to put one here and one here to fill up the whole, you know, circle thing. But I thought it worked really well to give this something more, something different and unique, and... Yeah, they don't quite match up with these little things, but nothing really does. So I just, I just went with it. So I just kind of turned this into like a little food court. I, I just wanted something different. All sorts of foods and drinks. They added a bunch of those when they did the update. So there's like um, these ones, these pipe shots, pip shot. So there's like a water place. There's a juice, slurpy things, which is really cool. And I think that's a really neat thing. And I'm glad they keep adding more stuff because um, the makes me sad when games don't continue add. I mean, there's so much in here already, but it'll be nice to keep adding more stuff so you can vary things up so it's not just, you know, ten gulpy places. It's some gulpy and some water places and all that. And I was super happy they added these donut ones, which I thought were really cool. Now, I also, in the back here, went ahead and built a path through here, which, yeah, it's a little derpy, so pretend you don't see those walls sticking through. I'm going to try and fix those eventually. But I added a little balcony out the back, which I'm going to be super happy with with this balcony here pretty soon because I'm going to deck it out, and, you know, do some little decoration. And no, I didn't do any of the back yet. I'm going to get there. But what I'm going to do back here is there's going to be this one path that leads out. It's going to lead to the steamboat. So I went ahead and I did some cool stuff with this thing. I went and decorated it. It looks cool on its own, but I added the Christmas lights and threw in some smoke effects. Which I think adds something a little special to the, you know, SS floats well. It kind of needed it, you know, threw some of these little Christmas decoration things in the back, threw some lanterns in to light it up. Mostly so that at night, this thing looks amazing. At least, I think so. And, and render in the darkness. Yeah, look at this thing. Imagine that, you know, a bunch of people partying on this at night, having fun. I think it'd be super duper cool. 
I even put a light up here, which I thought was really neat that they uh, they actually made this clear glass so you could put an object inside, which is neat. Now, the only thing I wish they could do is windows. It, something that always kind of annoyed me, that windows you couldn't light up, um, which I found a small fix for, so I'll show you that in a minute. But the plan is, is out here I'm going to build a big, you know, pond, lake thing, something really pretty, something people can walk around, maybe put some ride, maybe a carousel out here somewhere. And then what I want that to do is, out the back here, I'm going to build a giant pit. Uh, if you guys have ever seen uh, Corrales, he's an amazing YouTuber that does insanely cool work with this kind of stuff. I'm very jealous. He's kind of the inspiration for me actually even getting this game. Uh, but yeah, it... it he made it so that there was a giant pit with water. And that's where he did all his pirate theme and all that cool stuff. And like a British fort and all that neat interesting stuff. That would I'd love to see at a theme park. But what I want to do is have this pond filtering down into that area. So a nice cool waterfall effect trying to go down. And that's going to take some time to actually make that. It's, it's going to be tough. But I wanted to do something like that. And then that would be really neat. And I'm also going to run water from other places, so, like, all the water's going to flow down into that. Now, this place at night looks really cool. I took uh, quite a bit of time and tried to uh, do this up a little bit. And this glass looks great. I give a lot of credit to these guys for their glass work because it works. Like, you can actually see through. There's a little bit of glare, but, I mean, during daytime, it, there's a little bit too much sometimes. But you can still see through, which I like. Now, like I was saying... I didn't like how windows, you can't light them up from the inside. So what I've done is like over here, I've tried to make it appear like they light up. So I put these little awnings on, which I thought worked great. They look nice with it, something different. But you can delete this. So what I did was I put, ah, uh, it's horribly centered. Um... But yeah, I just put these little lights in and I shifted them in a little bit. And then I just covered them up. Like, I think it makes it simple that it still lights it up. Makes it kind of appear like there's, you know, light coming out of it. Because otherwise they're just blank. And it just kind of doesn't work. Like, I would love it so that, you know, at night you could actually see through these windows and it would light things up. I've had to instead go ahead and, you know, for some of these upper ones, I went and put these little floodlights in and they're shining down. Changed it so that they were a little bit less harsh, because they really were. But I think overall, at night, this place looks really neat. Now, I want to add more detail over time. I'm going to probably add some more of these little lights, probably up on these little pillars and stuff. Maybe some up here. Maybe on the poles. I haven't quite decided yet. It's going to be a lot of lights. And I'm already getting a little framey, especially when trying to do a recording. But, uh, but yeah, this is. I, I think that I really like this building. It's really different. I can't wait to finish it completely. Not that I'll probably ever finish it, but I, I'm going to try and do some more work inside, fix it up, put in some shelving, put some stuff on top of it. But I really like how these came out. I, just something different and a little bit more unique. Instead of just a dull building with a light sticking out the side, I wanted something hidden that would actually light things up and, you know, make it realistic, you know. That's what the whole point of this game is, right? Maybe. But yeah. Let's get rid of all this junk and let's switch back over to uh, PM. So that was the first surprise. Or second, I guess. Or, yeah, this is number one. Surprise number two is this cool little boat. Which I'm super excited about. I'm going to put him in the little pond there. You know, he's just floating for now. But what I've also gone ahead and started to do, I was like, I haven't done anything with any rides yet. I've just built buildings. And a lot of them are very blocky. And this was trying to expand on that a little bit and you know it's a little bit more shapes and different things because i'm not very good at building i i won't lie about that i everything comes out blocky no matter what i do i mean there's a little bit of rounded roofs and stuff but not that much i i need to work on that but i went ahead and i came over this way and i built this mine shaft here so yeah which is super neat it's a little bit different. Probably a billion YouTubers have done this by now. But I put this path into the ground, which... If any developers are watching this, first and foremost, something you need to add is enabling paths to tunnel automatically. Because to do all of this work, I had to... 
dig all this out myself, put in the path, and then cover it back up, which took a lot longer than it should have. You have it so that, you know, your track rides and stuff, they will just, you know, automatically dig through. But there's no option for that on pads, and I think that's really awful. Uh, something you guys probably overlooked, and it needs to be added, because this, this was a pain. But before I show you where that leads, I want to show the idea... I mean, I'm, I'm guessing you probably figured out. It's Western theme. Big surprise. So I've gone ahead and started making some other buildings. Um, I mean, the first one's very small. Simple little one. Just to start. It's a toilet. Like, it's just supposed to be an outhouse. Simple toilet. Nothing fancy. It, it you know, little crooked, things broken, falling off. Yeah, you get the idea. It's an outhouse. It smells bad, etc. The other place I've made is McGuckin's. So if you don't know, one of my favorite shows of all time is uh, Gravity Falls. Super fun, super amazing, and one of the characters is Mr. McGuckin. And he's a crazy old prospector man, and... Well, this just seemed like it would fit too perfectly. So I went ahead and started making this saloon. Which, again, blocky. But at the same time, a lot of the buildings from that time are, well, blocky. But again, this is another one that you can actually go into. Um... I used shutters to make these little doors. They don't fit perfectly, but it works. But yeah, you can come in here and there's actual little shops here on the sides. They're a little down further than they should be. The wood in this is not very good. You can't maneuver it as much as some of the other ones. So the floorboards are way too high. These little things are actually uh, those little empty cable spools. And I just sunk them into the ground. Some little boxes for seats. You know, just something simple. It, 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 I tried to give it as much little detail as I could. And there's quite a few things you can add in this one. It, you know, I threw some cacti in here and, you know, little gambling things. I tried, okay? I, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. The paths are kind of weird in here, but they work. They go around the tables so people aren't just facing through tables. And I've, I've, I've kept the part closed just because the people can add a hell of a lot of lag to the game. Uh, especially when... Uh, you're trying to do a recording. Um, but yeah, this is like a neat little saloon. Very traditional. Nothing too crazy. Um, you know, a little... I've never quite figured out why you would ever use candles. Because I feel like that would just be a pain. But, I mean, it needs some more detail again. I've, I've just kind of thrown stuff in. Need some neat posters and stuff on the walls, etc. But yeah, I, I think it's a good start for a place. And eventually I want to do some more work on it. But I think it turned out really cool. It's it's different, and it lights up great, too. I That's one thing that I will always do for you guys is light things up. Because there's a lot of things that people make that don't light up. And it's kind of sad when you can't, like, read a sign at night, or you can't, like, go into a building and actually see. Like, that's just terrible. Why would you ever not light it up? People are in this park at night. I mean, even, like, the dark, creepy alleyways down the side. I mean, on this side, I went ahead and I added some stuff in just to make something different. So make it look like they get shipments and all that other stuff. And all that thing's floating. Need to fix that. I threw a coffin in here. I don't know why, but in a lot of movies, there are coffins just everywhere in westerns. At least, I think, like, more of the comedy-style westerns. So that's uh, McGuckin's. And there's one last thing I want to show you. Let's, um, oh, come on, move out of free move. There we go. So I went ahead and I made an actual ride. So again, this pathway leads through a whole winding series of tunnels that... Come on. Sometimes this camera can be more of a pain than it is worth. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here we go. We made it. So yeah. It's like a little mining station. So, like, you know, people come up through here. And it's not pretty in here. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty awful. But, again, nobody's going to be looking down here. It's just fake people. Blah, blah, blah. But you get to come up in. And you get to ride this train. Which, perfect timing, just showed up. So we're actually just going to ride it. So you can see what's going on. I've, I've done a little bit of work. It needs some more. So I built this station and everything for it. Which is cool, but I want to add some more stuff um, actually in the ride. Come on, you know, you know, there we go. So, we're just going to ride it from here because 
Well, the seat's probably the one of the best ones. It's a little janky. I, I won't lie about that. It's a little messed up. It's a little too twisty in some bits. But at the same time, I thought it would be fun and exciting. And I'm, I, I'm pretty bad at building roller coasters. I personally do not like roller coasters. Especially if they go upside down. It is terrifying. Not okay with it. I can ride all sorts of other thrill rides, but something about going upside down, just I cannot do. Um, and some of these coasters, I they just kind of hurt. I'm a big guy. And, well, these little things are not designed for, well, pretty much Americans. Uh, but yeah. So anyway, so we are in a volcano now. Uh, yeah, that's that's what I did. I built a mountain, turned it into a volcano. Um, but I also went ahead and did some cool stuff. So, like this. I added in some triggered events, which I thought would be cool. I haven't played with those at all yet. So you have fires that pop up. There's some sand stuff that falls down to your head. I really like this one. This one's a lot of fun. There's some planes back there. And a lot of this is very loopy and moves too fast. Things still need to be hidden, so like some of these effect things are cool. But I need to hide them a little bit more. And just, like I said, I haven't had enough time. And I wanted to make a video, get something out for you guys so you can see some stuff and know that I'm still alive and doing things. Yeah. I want to do more of, like, these things for actual entrances. Like, for each... Each little things, the little, uh... Cave entrance things. I want to put some of this over it so that it looks like an actual, you know, mine shaft. Build some little pillars and stuff in there. But yeah, it's, it's a really neat kind of ride, I think. The ratings are kind of rough, I think. I don't know what... If these are bad, if these are good, if these, you know... You get the idea. I don't know these yet. I, like I said, I have not played enough. But yeah, it's a very simple little mountain. Eventually, I'm going to add some like smoke effects up on top. So that it looks like it's a smoking volcano. And, you know, I've got to hide some of this stuff a little bit more. But I, yeah, I want to build like a little, you know, mineshaft entrances in these places. So it looks like you're actually going through things. And I think at some point, I'm probably going to build a waterfall. It comes off of here and then down um, this side of the mountain. Just so that, like, this part goes around the waterfall. And then that waterfall will eventually run, you know, a stream and stuff that runs over to the pond. Which then runs down into the giant lake with all the pirate stuff. And yeah. And these are probably going to get moved eventually somewhere in here. I, I just built them to build them. Because it was in my head. I had to do it then. Just like this. This was in my head, and I had to build this, like, right away. There was no, you know, oh yeah, let's build it tomorrow. It was just kind of like, let's build it now. And eventually I'll probably also build, like, a log flume that comes down this, which would be kind of neat. Goes in through, like, maybe, like, a sawmill over here. I think that'd be pretty nifty. Spiffy keen, and a lot of this needs to be, you know... Fix a little bit. Oh, look, it's like a little smelly face, two little eyes, little mouth. He's cute. But yeah, I, wanna, I will fix this up, add some rocks, some trees, some nature, etc. You know, some sawmills and mining stuff. You get the idea. So yeah, I, I, I want this, like right here. Like, this looks nice to me. It's got a little bit of detail. It's got some leftover junk, some plants, some lanterns, because this doesn't light up all that great at night. The fire looks cool, but that's about it. The rest of it's pretty dark, and you can't see much, especially through the caves. So, uh, so yeah. I, I, I just wanted to show you guys some little updated stuff. And show you that I am still playing this game and enjoying it. Because, I mean, how could you not? This game is incredible. It's too much fun. There's too many neat things you can build. So, yeah, if you haven't had the chance, go buy it. it it's a really amazing game. I absolutely adore this game so far. Um... And like I said, I can't wait to do more, start getting into some of these rides, because there's a lot of really neat stuff. And they keep updating, which is really good. I'm very happy about that. Um, actually, I'm probably going to put the star wheel back here somewhere, actually. That'd be kind of neat. Maybe out in like a little peninsula and have a bridge out to it. I, I don't know. I'm going to play with it. It's it's going to be interesting. Yeah, I think yeah, I think that'll, that's what I'll do. I'll build this lake here. I'll put maybe the, the star wheel, this... It's ginormous. I love that the rides in this are huge. Like, they really are, and that makes me happy. Um, but yeah, build that out maybe like on a cute little island 
build a bridge out to it, have this thing, like, docked next to that bridge so you get to, like, walk past it or something. Maybe this will just be out in the water. I don't know. I haven't quite decided. But anywho, I think that's about all the time I've got for today. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all this crazy cool new stuff. and I hope you guys are having fun with this game because it's so much fun for me. And if you have any suggestions, leave me a comment below. Let me know if you think of anything that you should that I should add to this or things that I should change ways to fix some of these errors. Um, you know, these little graf graphical glitches where things aren't working. Where sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Um, you know, stuff like that. If you got any ideas for making these pillars look a little bit better or things to add to the boat or even, even MacGuckins over here. Just leave me a comment. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button so I know that you guys are enjoying these kind of things. So I'll keep making them. You know, I don't want to, you know, bore you. If you want to see me building, just, you know, let me know in the comments. I don't think that'll be all that exciting because it takes forever. But, uh, hey, if you want to see it, let me know. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, don't forget to subscribe so you get updates when I make another video because I will continue to make these ones because these are a lot of fun and these are so pretty and so cool and there's so much stuff you can do. But anyway, until next time, guys, remember, stay in trouble. Uh, bye bye